Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to YamahaProAudio.com. Click on the Downloads page and click on Firmware and Software. There are three things you need to download. The first one is the MIDI driver. Select the MIDI driver for the operating system that you're using. Lots of choices. And the Studio Manager V2 Host. Download that one. And then scroll down to the ONV96 VCM, ONV96 V2 editor program. So download and install those three programs on your computer. And once you do that and launch Studio Manager, it'll bring up this window. And what you want to do is click on the ONV96 and add it to your workspace. Then you need to select your MIDI ports, Yamaha, USB, in, 01, and out, 01. Check those. And uh, everything's fine here. And click OK. And then if you double click your ONV96 icon there, then it will bring up a window that shows you all the faders. These you still need to go up to File and System Setup and assign your Yamaha USB USB in one and USB USB out O1. And there are some parameters here that you can set up for your particular situation. And click OK. Once you do that, you need to synchronize with your console. And in this case, I'm going to sync from the console to the PC. I already have a preset on the console right now and I want to be able to control that from my laptop. I'm in this case using a MacBook with Fusion running uh, Windows XP. And here is the preset from the console. I now have control over it. And I'm going to get a couple other windows up here. I get a meters window and how about the master? There are a lot of other windows. The selected channels, a good one that gives you the ability to see all the parameters of a, a particular channel. And any channel that you select down below on your fader bank will appear in the selected channel. And from that you can adjust your EQ, your gates, your comps fader, etc. Um, your fader bank can also be um, inputs 1 through 16, 17 through 32, your remote bank, and your master bank. The metering uh, window here lets you scroll through your effects, your stereo, your master, peak hold on. On your input channels, you can also select where you meter those from. And some of the other choices uh, include your libraries, your patch editor, a lot of the details of the console can be easily seen on your computer and change like your effects parameters for instance. This particular console is not a, a VCM console by the way. And once you are done, you can um, close this setup. And then it will ask you if you want to save it. And in this case, we're going to save this particular setup. And this will allow you to not have to reconfigure all that stuff. Uh, the other thing that you need to do uh, is set up your console to enable it. And to do that, you press the DIO slash setup button and go to the MIDI host page. And on the studio manager uh, space, put in the USB 1 and then plug in a USB cable to your PC and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. And uh, here you can see when you relaunch, it'll ask you to, to sync at that point. So good luck and until next time. Goodbye.